Hello friends, I'm Colonel Failure. This is the Electro Sports Baseball League Game 2 of the season. Bulldozer Power hoping to bounce back from a Week 1 defeat. Uh, they're playing the Grunt Auto Group, uh, who also failed to win their, their first game of the season. So both teams will be hoping to make some headway here. Will they? Well, we'll play the game and find out. Uh, yeah, let's, let's get it done. Um, right, first up to bat uh, in our away uniforms here, and uh, it's, a, it's a magnificent looking uniform, isn't it? And it's uh, Cindy Vapid up first. Uh, Brewster Paylater is the uh, is the pitcher of the day, and so far he's failed to hit the target. Oh, well done, well done. You practice that a lot, I imagine. All three. Uh, Cindy still waiting for a pitch that looks worthy. That's not bad. She'll take it and advance to first. Lovely job. Cindy doing that which she's paid for, which is taking the uh, the thankless position of lead-off batter and making something out of it. Here's Mars Mullo, new signing Mars. Only managed one of four last week, but, uh, well, you know, there's there's plenty of time in the season for him to redeem himself, and uh, he was, I believe, our first draft pick. So uh, let's uh, let's see how he does against the pressure being uh, being induced by uh, by Brewster. And that's a nice hit. Centre field again. Oh, I don't care. Well, I'll hit it there all day long. At some point, I'm going to take the head off that pitcher. Team captain Ulysses' failure. Well, as uh, several people have suggested, he should be put out to pasture. But uh, he's he's always delivered occasionally, but uh, but never as spectacularly as his stats might suggest he would. That's ball three. No strikes yet. Oh, there you go. There's one. That's nice. Yeah, yeah. I'll take that one as well. Can you get this one on target? Oh, failure. Strikes out. I think that was outside the strike zone, but he'd committed to the strikeout. The full count there, throwing him off his game. Here's Jack Mercury, uh, who's uh, another new signing uh, for the team. Uh, plays third base. Uh, comes in in place of uh, Furious Sponge Bath. And, uh, and can he accomplish anything? Failure striking out. Sorry, that's rattled me. Oh, what was that? It wasn't flipping good. That's what that wasn't. Double play and uh, two hits there. Ended up with no score. What a waste. What a waste. Oh, well, these things are going to happen. Uh, it's Cookie Peach Wallace up first to bat uh, for the Grunt Auto group. Uh, she studies the bats. Yep. It's a bat, all right. Uh, bubbly merchandise, of course, improved a little in the off-season. And therefore, we're expecting something from her that is uh, robust. All right, that's strike two. Ah, I'll throw one of these and see if she bites first time. There you go. Merchandise with a strikeout against the first target of the day. That's what we like to see. Here's Danny Diet. He looks rather surprised in his baseball card. He, he looks quite surprised to be to uh, no, no matter which way you cut it. Uh, but that's that's fine. Uh, merchandise is uh, is a, a really solid pitcher these days, um, especially with the old junk pitches. Gets plenty of swing on the pitches as they come in. Uh, but uh, is it going to be enough to fox anyone else? Stop hitting it over your head, you clown! Uh, at least make it so Big Steve can go back and get it. That's a good one. Merchandise two for two. Well, the one's bright spark on the team from week one, Linda Van Spackle got herself a home run and, uh, and a 1,000 uh, rating at bat. Uh, is she the woman of the hour come the moment of the time? Yeah, that's what the people are asking. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just passing on the information from the people and what they're asking. That one's gone out to Mercury. Can he redeem himself for his at-bat? Yes, he can. Out number three. Bulldozer power there. Nice and efficient. But uh, the score remains tied. And we're looking to big man Zoltan Zoltan to, uh, to see if he can't do something about this deadlock. Well, obviously not his at-bat necessarily, unless he fancies tattooing it. That's a little bit low, Zoltan. You're going to be out. Like that. Yeah. Okay, not to worry. Here's Steve Morrie. He's looking very pleased with himself, but then doesn't he always? Uh, he's, he's happy to be on the team, and he's equally happy that it's not Julius Hardware taking his place. Because we hate Julius Hardware, even though we've not seen him yet this season. The hatred still runs deep. Steve's out. Number two there. 
And that leads us to Mystery Man Bernie Crampons. When he hits it, it goes a long way, but most of the time he doesn't hit it. And uh, totally failed to get a hit last week. Can he turn that around this week? Well, he might do if he uh, if he gets a pitch he likes the looks off. Don't oh, dare me. Come on, Bernie. Ball three. Strike two. Bernie Crampons is going back to the dugout. But not for long, because he's going to be playing shortstop in a moment. Uh, so, uh, bulldozer power. Two up, two down. Two in, two out. Two off, and uh, two away. Uh, here's Ben Radical, the first baseman. He's played before. Uh, he knows what's up. He's uh, he's had some he's had some at bats. You know he's uh, he's not new to this. Uh, bubbly there, a little bit off target with our first pitch. Second one's gone a good distance. Uh, we could be seeing two bases off this one. Failure puts in the throw, but the damage is done. Giving up a double off the first at bat is never desirable. Is Tommy Money, uh, who will be trying to to build on what could be a promising scoring opportunity. Uh, we've got to take anything at this point. Uh, you know, we're two two innings, and, and uh, you know we, the score is going to happen at some point. We just hope it happens to us first rather than them. You know, you know. Uh, bubbly with a tricky one. Crampons is calling for it, but is he actually able to catch it? Yes. Uh, it's a relatively simple catch, but you know you never can be too sure. Uh, here's Alfredo Singularity, the shortstop. Uh, he's an A-rated player, but completely failed to get any traction at all in the opening game. Well, that's, uh, that's mysterious, isn't it? Uh, I will hope that he manages to repeat that performance this week, because that would do us untold favours. Merchandise claims another one. That's what we like to see. Two outs now. Margaret Ann Sprinkles uh, is coming in to make, a, to make a play for, well, anything, really. Early hit, crampons, can't get to it, and that's going to be a point. Is that what they call it? Well, I think they call it a run, but it amounts to the same thing. Not got there on time, Put, positioned that one in a place that was incredibly difficult to get, and uh, the Grunt Auto group have taken the lead. Phantom of Fanta now, uh, up to bat. Crampons, he made the right jump, but no one, no one was getting to that, it was way too high. No, no. No, I'm not, I'm not holding him accountable for that one, and that will wrap up the inning as uh, Kojak picks off uh, an easy base hit there. And uh, it's 0-1 to one in favour of the Grunt Auto groups for going to the third inning, and it is Kojak missed one up to bat. Batted a 1,000 last week. Doubtful she'll keep that up, but I wouldn't mind if she did. There's ball one. Ball two, coming up on 30 pitches now for uh, for the auto group. Bruce to pay later. Don't swing at that. Oh my, I don't even need to look. It was a little bit high. With three balls as the count. You could have you could have sat there for a couple more. Oh, I don't believe it. Here's Bubbly Merchandise, the pitcher. Just soak up the pitches. Although, if you were going to swing at one, that would have been the one. Yes, ball one, strike one, strike two, apparently. Oh, she's going to make a run for it, but it's not going to work. No. Bit of a fumbled catch by the catcher there, but it amounts to the same thing, and uh, uh, Bubbly's gone back to the dugouts. Uh, we're round to Cindy Vapid. We've got two outs. Not hoping for much. Cindy gives it away easily, and, uh, and that's all of that dealt with there, right there. Bulldozer power not looking particularly brilliant so far. Uh, it's only going to take one. It's going to take one game for them to turn it all around and make it all happen and uh, and feel the magic and the vibes. Uh, but uh, we're not there yet. That one's gone low. Crampons with a nice bit of fielding gets it over to first. You wouldn't have thought the old man could move that well, but he did, and uh, and that's the result there. And we're around to Cookie Peach Wallace uh, for another peach. Uh, peach. I don't know, I guess I've got, you know, you know, quite like peaches. They're good. All right. Good. She's batting, incidentally. That's that's why I reference her, because she's the one with the bat standing there, you know, likely to be struck out if I can call the right pitch. I think this is the right pitch. We've had a couple of people on this one. Try that. Nope, it's up, but she's going to she's gonna be out as long as Mullo doesn't make a mess of this. And he doesn't. Out number two. 
The ever surprised Danny Diet is the last remaining member of the team to uh, to try and find some way through the uh, bulldozer power uh, defense, which is actually playing reasonably well so far. Uh, it's only uh, it's only good hits that have led the uh, the auto group to their lead. Uh, beyond that, they've they've, uh, they've struggled to get much headway. Yeah, I know, I was chancing it there. I thought he might hit it over the fence as well, but he didn't. And he's gone again. And another strikeout for Merchandise. This is a remarkably good performance. Uh, Brewster Pay later coming back into pitch. And it's Mars Mullo. He managed to get a hit first time around, but it amounted to nothing because the side was destroyed shortly afterwards. He wastes no time, though, in getting out. Good. His failure... Uh, largely responsible for everybody. No, no, no. He got. He struck out. Oh yeah. We so rarely strike out, you know. Very rarely indeed. He's oh, he's got a good hit, and he's got the pace to make an extra base. He's going for it. He's in a foot race against the ball, but he got there. A double for failure. Good. Now Mercury, please don't kill the team. Come on, one out. Jack Mercury. He's uh, he's got some momentum when he wants it. What we need, though, is a nice, big, fat hit. A really big one. You know, something properly... Strike two, ball one. Mercury waiting his moment. That's not it. That one's too high. That's the full count. Oh, That's a good one. It's a good one. A failure's going for it all. And that will tie up the score. We're going for a three. Go on, son. Lovely. And a triple there for Jack Mercury, uh, thereby redeeming himself for his first at bat. And we're, and he's injured. He stubbed his toe. What a prat. Okay, well, I'll deal with him in a minute. He can finish his base running. I mean, all he's got to do is hobble as long as Zoltan hits it. Well, Zoltan has hit it. It's gone very, very high, but I don't believe it's got the distance. But we are going to get a run off this. There we go. Limp, man. Limp. And limping into base. That's two runs now. That leaves us with Steve Morrie to try and accomplish anything at all. But we have now taken the lead. And that's good enough for now. Steve liked that one. Not sure why. And he's out. Well, I know why he's out. Yeah, no, I've got, a, I've got a substitution to make. I'd like to make a substitution, please. Could I make i so I'd like to... I'd be very much interested in substituting Mr. Jack Mercury, who's a little bit dinged. Who would be replacing him? Uh, you're looking at Caps Lock or Disco. Now, we know that Disco is terrible. You want to keep him in? He could do another innings or two, I reckon. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. People call it an inning. And no matter how many you're, you're referring to. But no, it's it's inning and innings. See, it's a, there's there's a pluralisation thing going on there. And I'm sorry, you can you can say that this uh, this isn't cricket, but the nomenclature is uh, is similar in places, and therefore I shall use the, uh, the British equivalent where necessary. Strike two, bubbly looking sharp still. 35 pitches deep into the game. That's not bad. Cindy makes the stop. Lovely stop from Cindy Vapid. Couldn't quite get a keeper glove on it, but uh, did enough to stop it going into the outfield. I think the, out the, the, the outcome is about the same, though. Gave up a base. Uh, it happens. Strike one. Who's batting? Oh, I don't know. Some bloke. Uh, ben Radical. Ben Radical is batting. For those of you who want to know who's batting, it's Ben Radical, everybody. Crampons! Not even close. Zoltan with a terrible throw. But uh, it was good enough. Ish. Here's Tommy Money. Uh, there are no outs at the moment. We're in the bottom of the fourth. Runners on first and second. Bubbly Merchandise still looking pretty sharp. Still looking like she's got some energy. That one's gone up and Skyward. Big Steve tracking it there towards the crowd. He's not going to get to it. That one's up. Cindy, 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 Cindy. Thank you. Out number one. That one went very high indeed. Very high indeed. Here's Alfredo Singularity. He's tense because uh, he's into his second game now without a hit. 
which means he's going to get one here and it's probably going to be quite a good one yep i almost I, in fact I, no i go as far as to guarantee he's going to get a double here yeah if not more i mean i'd say he'd get a home run but no i think he's going to get a double yeah all right that one's up in the crowd they're hitting them all very high today evidently bobbly's uh ball positioning his fox no he struck out good well i was hoping i'd jinx him and clearly i did i mean it's the equivalent of walking up and whispering into his ear never and uh and that's that's paid off and uh, we're now faced with uh, margaret and sprinkles with two outs two on base uh this is this is kind of critical uh the game could be decided with this very never mind ass out well, okay, it could have been decided, you never know. If nobody scores again, we win. <laughs> but uh, there is quite a lot of games still to play, and here's Bernie Crampons. We're hoping for a hit from Bernie, because it will restore his confidence ever so slightly. Big hit from Bernie! Well, alright, I say big hit. Any hit from Bernie's a bit of a surprise. And that will do. He's got on base. Good lad, well played. Here's Kojak. She was out first time round. What have you been showing you had one at bat last week? Oh, yeah, because she walked pretty much all the time. Okay. Ball one. All right, okay. I'm ready. I'm on. I'm into it. Let's go. Strike one. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, I mean, that was a slightly chancy pitch to, uh, to swing at, but uh, Kojak's got on base. And that's runners first and second. It's bubbly merchandise up to bat. Bubbles. Swing if you feel confident. Strike out if you don't. Okay? Alright, that one's a little on the high side. Just don't get a double. A double out would be less than ideal, you know? So, uh, just soak up a few, uh, a few whatnots. What's the bunt button? Oh, we're stealing. Okay. Alright, I, I hadn't anticipated that happening. Um, that was Bernie Crampon stealing a base. <laughs> Uh, Bubbly's going to get herself out, but we are going to get a run. Stone me. Well, that was adventurous. But I accidentally stole a base there. As of the things I was anticipating happening, it wasn't the bunt button, though, was it? No, it wasn't. Cindy Vapid. Didn't wait for it. Didn't wait for it. Took the first one. But that is another run for Bulldozer Power. Well, wow. All those claiming that uh, the scoring would be all done there at the end of the fourth inning. I mean, you're looking mighty foolish now. Uh, as uh, we turn our attention to Phantom of Fanta, and uh, she's uh, she's 0 for 1 today. She does like to steal bases herself. She's got a, a reputation for it, but of course she does actually have to have a hit and get on base in the first place to make that happen. What is it, Fanta? Too soon? All right, okay. Well, was, I'm just saying, you know, we're, uh, I just, I'm throwing a bit of shade your way, you know? It might throw you off your game. See how you get on with Bubbly's favourite change-up. Now you've hit that one out of the stadium the wrong way. Okay, well, let's see how you get on with Bubbly's favourite curveball. Yeah. <laughs> uh, steal that. Here's Brewster Pele to the pitcher of a thing. They might take him out. Okay, maybe they won't. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, we're only in the fifth inning. He's got some arm left in him. I mean, he's not playing brilliantly, but he's not a brilliant pitcher, so I don't know what you're expecting. Just, you know, end him. Okay. Bubbles, keep it simple, all right? It'll fall for just about anything. All right, uh, crampons into the game again. I'll tell you something, Bernie Crampons, he's he's having a noteworthy game at the moment. A hit and a steal. And he's uh, he actually rounded all four bases. You don't see that very often unless there's a home run. Uh, he'll have taken his sanatogen once he was back in the dugout, and uh, and he's raring to go for another inning. And no, that is not a banned substance. Uh, he washes it down with uh, half a pint of Horlicks with ice. Uh, that's a good size hit there. Uh, stays inbound. Uh, but Zoltan's going to hust that over the third. And that's a double there for someone whose name eludes me at the moment. Because I wasn't really paying attention. Is Danny Diet. He is now tense. Uh, apparently he has power versus right-handed pitchers but we haven't seen it yet today maybe this is the time that we will see it now, he's still looking nervous but i think that's uh, that's just how he was built oh a clumsy piece of flipping everything there and we've given up third base which means that uh, the tying run is uh, is upon us unless we can get this guy at the plate 
or you know on his on his trot to first or catch him or you know any one of those if we get him out all right there you go strike two bubbly this is uh this is your moment this is your golden moment to never mind no wait it's not that wasn't your moment this is your moment bubbly now's your moment there it is ho oh, oh, another bubbly merchandise strikeout and uh, and saved a run yet again Merchandise, I tell you, all of that off-season training, it's really coming into its own, and it's Mars Mullo up to bat for us. Uh, 333 is season average, one of two so far today. Uh, hasn't yet really found his, his place in the team as far as, as batting is concerned. What is he for? I mean, allegedly, he's uh, he's a slugger. All right, that had, some, that had some mustard. Not a lot, but it had some. I mean, it went foul, so it doesn't really count. But, but I say it doesn't really count. It doesn't count at all. That would be a base hit. Lovely job. We'll take that. You can do that all day long. I don't mind that in the slightest. Here's Ulysses' failure. He's had a double uh, from his two at-bats, which is super. You can have more of that as well. He goes for it. Kills the pitcher. Yes. Ulysses' failure uh, makes himself known. And I suspect we'll have a substitution coming up in a moment. Uh, no, he's dead, but he's still playing. Actually, he's not that wounded. He's less wounded than uh, Jack Mercury, who's currently facing these pitches. Jack gets a piece of that. Is it enough? Keep going, lads. It's off the wall, but we'll have a run. Uh, no, I think, actually, we'll have two runs. Thank you. Lovely. Jack Mercury there with a nice big hit. I'm very pleased I didn't take him out of the game. Uh, here's Zoltan, Zoltan. Oh, and now they've decided to kill the pitcher. Yeah, I would do too. I just hit him in his gentleman's bathing suit area with the ball. Really rather hard by the captain of the team. Uh, Mario Hotstepper is coming in to replace him. And uh, and Zoltan's up to bat. And we are uh, currently in a no-out scenario. Uh, with a runner on second. Oh, yeah. Zoltan, he's going to be out. Uh, but we will advance the runner to third. Okay, all right, that's good. Here's Big Steve, batting 167 for the year, and uh, he's 0 for 2 today. All right, Steve. <clears throat> I mean, you smile a lot, mate, but you've done precious little to earn it, and that will do. Steve Murray there with a base hit, and the run batted in. And <laughs> a fielding error to boot. We're not going to make Steve try and take another base. Do you know why? Because that's just a, that's a fool's error, and that is. Here is Bernie Crampons. Uh, is this a Cinderella day for Bernie Crampons? I mean, you could argue it possibly is already. He's had a hit. Uh, but is there is there more left in the wiry old man? Well, not in this inning, sir, isn't he? Struck out. Kojak Mister on up next. Two outs now. Uh, runner on uh, first. And uh, this dude's pitching angle is throwing me a little. But not so much that Kojak goes, Oh, I'm so phased. Because she isn't. Now that's going to leave us with Bubbly to do a bit of uh, a bit of batting here. I'd be okay if she got out. I'd rather she didn't. I'd rather she, uh, you know, chuck in a chuck. Oh, Bubbly flaming merchandise! She's out, but that's a dead pitcher. Come on, bulldozer power! Terminating the enemy pitchers with vengeance. That's the kind of hit you like to see. Oh, yes. Linda Van Spackle is up next. Uh, she's batting 833. Uh, oh, yeah. Mario Hopstepper there. We're, the report from the dugout is, is in extreme pain. Couldn't think why. Uh, we're starting to see just, uh, just the earliest signs of fatigue from, from Bubbly. Uh, we'll, we'll take her out probably, I would say, for her next at-bat, but that's... That's going to require a full cycle to get there. Look, he, he missed it. What? Come on. You've got to be kidding me. Mullo with a big throw. Not good enough. I could have sworn he had that, you know. Here's Ben Radical. He's had a double a single. He's had a big day. Uh, but we've got, to, we've got to get him dealt with. Got to get him out. Merchandise can't afford to start slipping up now. She's still got plenty of stamina. So uh, there's no reason at all that her pitches should be in any way... Less potent than they have been so far. Mullo's going to get to this one. And then he's going to throw it straight to third. He's not going to get to the... What are you playing at, you flipping clown? All right. I mean, if you're going to run towards the ball, mate, flaming catch it. Don't just 
Dop. Right, okay, well, I'm, I'm minorly displeased there because we gave up a run that we really didn't need to. Uh, that was disgust, and worse than that, we didn't get the out either. All right, okay. Yeah, not pleased. No, not pleased. Uh, Bubble is not pleased, and she's been playing a stormer of a game. Zoltan, have you got this or what? Yes. Throw it to third, mate. It's not going to get there in time, but, you know, get it close. That'll do. All right, runner on third, one out. Alfredo Singularity next up to bat. And uh, and he is, as we've spoken about all game, uh, due a big hit. Uh, he hasn't had a single hit yet this season, and yet he is a very highly regarded batter. That's a hit, but Zoltan's going to have that, but it's not going to stop them from scoring. So, uh, you know, uh, silver linings have a cloud attached to them frequently. Here's Margaret Ann Sprinkles. She's done a double and uh, had a single and uh, she batted a run in, I think, or something. I, she's played some baseball today. She's not one of the members of the team who haven't played any baseball. That's gone straight to Kojak, and Kojak will go, thank you very much, get off my t field. And uh, there you go. So uh, at the end of six, the score is six to three in favour of Bulldozer Power who are a little ragged around the edges but have pulled up some results. I imagine we'll see a pitching change here. Oh, what do you know? Hot Stepper there is, in fact, dead. And uh, Monty Rico is coming in to pitch in his place. Uh, also leaving Alfredo Singularity. They've had enough of him. And they're bringing in Baron Torquemada to take his place at shortstop. Strike one. Ah, doubtful. Cindy swinging at a stupid one. She's going to be out. Okay, yeah, yeah, soak up a few more pitches, people. Come on, we want to get this guy a little bit tired by the time we get round to the ninth inning. Ideally, you know. Mullo. Late hit from Mullo there. Shouldn't have swung, or should have swung earlier. Too early on the swing there. Don't try and overcompensate. Oh, swings at a stupid one. He's had a bit of everything. He's had a lovely day, Jim, but he's going to go on. Here's Ulysses' failure, 2 or 3 today. He's redeeming himself very nicely, and he's hurt a pitcher as well. That's what we like to see. Yeah. Come on, man. Come on. Now, wait it out. Don't be impatient. There you go. For a moment there, I thought we could be lucky and go for three pitchers in one game, but it was not to be. Failure, though, got a hit. And that's nice. Jack Mercury... He's uh, had a double, he's had a triple, he's had a run, bat he's had three runs batted in. He's having a good game, but he has, uh, he slightly hurt his toe. Yeah, he's a professional sportsman. That's a less good kind of hit there. He'll be out, and that's the side retired, but, you know, we can we can breeze through things at this stage of the game. Uh, Phantom of Fanta now, up to bat 0 for 2 today. She's, uh, she's yet to make an impact on the game. You anticipated that and yet didn't swing at it. No, because it was a ball. Oh, yeah. Didn't swing at that either. I think Bubbly might be about done. All right, Bubbles, get this one put away and then, uh, then you can go and have a sit down and a cocoa. Uh, right. She goes, I don't want a cocoa. I want some of the Bubbles. That's what she sounds like. Um, yeah. Hence my name. Ah, Bubbly merchandise. I only drink the Bubbly merchandise. Uh, do you want to concentrate instead of doing silly voices? Uh, it's three balls, two strikes. This one matters. That'll do. No, it won't. All right, try this one. And that'll do. Nope. Oh, flipping it. Well, just let her hit one then. Ooh, a bunt. What the heck are you playing at? You're out. Go away. It went landed foul or something. So I think if, you, if you bunt foul, it's out. I, 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 so there's a rule in there somewhere, and... And one of the dedicated commentary team in the comments there will uh, will bring us all up to speed on what just happened. I don't really care. They're out. Uh, anyway, Bubbles, she's done a good job so far today. And she's uh, she's going for a well-earned rest. Now, we played Disneyland last time around, and he wasn't all that. No, we didn't. We played Conservative, and he wasn't all that. Valid. Uh, what about Flight Risk? He's awful. Do you want to put him in while we're ahead? Do you want to stay ahead? Yes. Jeff Conservative coming in. Okay, well, it's Jeff Conservative, everybody. He wasn't at his best in the last game. Uh, he's, uh, he's Typically, we rely on Mr. Conservative to be very conservative with the number of pitches he has to throw in order to get people out. And that's not bad. Two pitches, one out. Okay, here's Cookie Peach Wallace. One hit, but it was a good one. 
Uh, a double from her. But that was way back in the day. This one, however, is just drifting wide of the foul line, and she's not going any further with that. Jeff Conservatives pops up another one, and uh, Steve's got that. I wasn't certain he would, but there you go. It didn't take him very long. Jeff, the Conservative, Conservative there, uh, getting it done in short order, was what we like to see. Here's Zoltan at the top of the eighth innings. Uh, inning, beg your pardon. Uh, Bulldozer Power leading 6-3. to three. The game's not done. Zoltan's going to be caught. Out number one. Steve Morinow. Another player in search of a little bit of... Uh, 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 consistency. There you go. In that he'd quite like to hit it once in a while. And not be out. I mean, the, uh, the position we are weakest at on Bulldozer Power is catcher. And Steve Morey is one of them. And we hate the other one. That's ball three. Full count now for Big Steve. He decided to chance it, and it did indeed just drift foul. And Steve's got to walk. Here's Bernie Crampons. He's done nothing since his golden inning earlier on. Uh, but maybe he's about to turn it on for us. It's very hard to say. He's got, uh, he's got an expressive face. He's hit that one too high in the sky. He is not going to be doing any end zone dancing after that one. Not that he does a lot of dancing anyway, not with his hip. Here's Kojak Mister on. Two of three today, she's batting 750 for the season. Alright, okay, yeah, that's solid. Come on, come on, come on. Alright. Ball two. Kojak is, uh, is not in a hurry. She's not biting on any of this. There's uh, there's ball three. She didn't need to swing at that one, but she did because she felt like it, and she's got a base hit for her trouble. Uh, runner's now first and second, but we do have two out, so we're going to drop the conservative and bring... Yeah, we are. I've got I've got reserves all over the place. I mean, they're rubbish, but I've got them. And, uh, and we will bring in uh, Veronica Hammock, who, uh, who I believe came in. Never mind... Then last game as well and completely failed to do anything. Well, that's good. Disneyland, you're on. <coughs> All right, well, I mean, that's, that's going to make the Conservatives numbers look pretty strong. Yeah, what, two at bats, two outs? Yeah. Yes, it's going to make his numbers look pretty solid. Mark Disneyland, everybody. Uh, he did not play brilliantly last week, but he did play better than Jeff, which was unusual. But, you know... It was a dubious first game. Bernie, are you feeling this or what? Yes, you are. All right, out number one. Here's Linda Van Spackle, two of three. And, uh, you know, maybe maybe old Diz here can, can fox her with some pitches she has yet to see. Never mind. Zoltan's got that one on throw to second. But the damage is done. That's a base hit given up there. Uh, here's Ben Radical. Three for three. He's having a good game. Oh, look at it. He means business. All right, Diz. Let's uh, let's kill him. Well, by which, I mean, let's get him out. Mullo. Nice catch. I mean, frankly, on this occasion, he had precious little choice but to catch it, given it was going straight at his glove. Uh, here's Tommy Money, who has uh, not had the best of games so far. Steve with the throw to second. Nah, it'll get there. I oh, see. Just, just never mind. It's okay. It happens. Strike two. And uh, this one and Mark can have a donut. It'll do. There you go. Straight to Kojak. And that is out number three. And we're into the ninth inning. Bulldozer power. Doubling up the score of Grunt Auto Group. Six to three right now. Everything we do from here on in helps to secure that lead. Obviously. For those who understand how sports work. If we get more points now, it good. Cindy, out again. Uh, she, has a, she has a thankless role in the team. And uh, that's why we don't thank her for it. Uh, here is Mars Molo. He's gone early. And has a hit. Cookie Peach Wallace there. Could have had it, but didn't bother sliding. Yeah, he died for a catch like that, and that's what it's there for. Failure's having a good day. He's killed a pitcher. He's three for four. He's had a double and two singles. Uh, what's he got for us this time? 
He's not hanging around. That's going to be enough to get him out. But we advance the run into second. Almost. Very quick. Very quick on his feet is failure. Uh, here's Jack Mercury. And uh, we'd quite like to see something good here. Is that good? No. All right, he's out. So, uh, Bulldozer Power all wrapped up there for six. What are the auto group going to do in response? Monte Rico's up to bat. Do we reckon they're going to let him bat? No. Vertex Cabal coming on in his place. Vertex yet to play this, uh, this season, so he should be fresh. But, uh, but is he ready? Strike one. No mistakes there from Mark Disneyland. That's nice. Strike two. He completely bit on that one. What a chump. And... God, I can't stand it when they hit it foul on flipping two strikes. Stop doing that. You're wasting everybody's time. It's clear you're not going to get a clean hit, so just sit down. Come on, Mark. Finish him. That one's got it, Cindy. And it's out. Okay, one away. Two more to go, and Bulldozer of Power will be very pleased. But it's too soon to say they'll be very pleased, and I shouldn't even have referenced that. Doing so is the surefire way to ensure that you're about to go on a on a pretty hefty uh, receiving of lots of scores in your face kind of uh, kind of zone. Yeah. Oh, well, you know what I'm going to do in a minute. It would be stupid. Don't do it. All right, I won't. I was thinking I might save Disneyland's arm for one batter and bring in Johnny Opus. Uh, what is the matter with these new players? An easy catch there, just couldn't be bothered. Cindy, though, no mistakes. Thrown straight to first again, and that's out number two. No, we're not going to bring in Johnny Oakless. We're going to uh, we're going to stick with the plan, and because the plan is solid, and Disneyland will have only pitched for what an inning and a bit, so it's fine. Strike two. It's Phantom of Fanta, yet to have a hit so far this season. Yeah, no, you didn't like that one. Oh, no. do you like this one? Oh, there was, there was a bit of a swerve on that, which is was slightly, slightly uncanny for the camera to keep track of. That one hasn't gone far. No, I, I, Disneyland couldn't be bothered to dive for it. What is the matter with these lazy players? I don't know what's going on with Bulldozer Power, but they're just not putting in any effort. Uh, it's Baron Torquemada. They've got a runner on first now, who is a stealer, a, a proven thief. Um... So she'll probably advance to second anytime soon. Cindy. No chance. That could be as much as a run, you know. Zoltan's going to throw for home, but I don't think it's going to get there. And they've advanced to third as well. Yeah, smart thinking. Smart thinking. Um, well, they've got two outs. It's Cookie Peach Wallace up to bat. We need one out. And the game's over. All right. We only lead by two. We led by three, and that was good. We only lead by two now. That's not good. No. All right, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you're drawing fouls while uh, while they're still under the two strike count is good. No. Look, listen, Mark. Yeah? You're supposedly top flipping notch at junk pitches, right? So, you know, get them to bite on one and get them the heck out. Oh, for Christ. Anytime, anytime you like. It's your own time you're wasting. Go on, just chuck a fastball down there. No, keep keep it up. Can I just throw it ahead? No, because then we'll have another batter. There you go. Clear off, you flaming time waster, and you just cost your team the game. Good. You deserve it. Bulldozer Power win their first game this season, and uh, it will come as a relief to, uh, to Bulldozer Power fans the world around. There, uh, it was. It was not without its drama, uh, but we did kill two pitchers. Love it. Uh, a win for Bubbly Merchandise. Eight strikeouts there for the starting pitcher, uh, Mark Disneyland. Very nice indeed. Uh, rounding it off with the save. One strikeout, but it was the one that mattered. Jack Mercury is your player of the day. I'm not sure I'd go for that. Uh, Bubbly Merchandise. I would have put as player of the day, but it's okay. Ben Radical, your second star. Bubbles is third. So we've got 11 games to get through. And first up is uh, Grazer Ridge, who beat us last week against the Port Miggins Pirates, who are also 1-0 at the moment. Pretty exciting stuff. 
uh, the Pirates there, managing to squeak a victory 3-2 to two in the end. And uh, next up, you've got the one-on-one -on -one Sports Ball Union against the Sunshine Fun Bus, who are currently 1-0. and zero. Uh, Sports Ball Union with a with an opening lead. Fun Bus coming back a little. Oh, it's good. The Fun Bus won that one, 15 to 13, but it took uh, took until the final inning for them to do so. That was pretty good. Nice. I thought it was going to go to extra innings, you know, but it didn't. No. Picks Creek Miners are currently 2 0. They're taking on Failurewood Hills. Brain Pakora is doing the pitching for the Picks Creek Miners. Not a very good pitcher at all. Uh, he'll be facing off against Mike Grenade. Well, let's uh, see which one of the, the miners there going going straight to business six to two an easy win for them. Uh, the budget roadies zero and two against the two and zero Lingo Blend All Stars. Uh, it's Paul Tribunal against a uh, showdown against uh, Jim Big Guns Leviathan. Yeah, I draw your own conclusion. Lingo Blend there in a low scoring game win that one two to nothing and they maintain their perfect record. Uh, seven games left to play, and it's the Minstrels against Cheerio Incorporated, who are in search of their first win this season. Uh, the Minstrels, however, are saying, today is not your first win of the season, although uh, a spirited comeback from Cheerio Inc., but it wasn't spirited enough, and uh, that's a win there for the Minstrels. Uh, the Grunt Auto group in, bi in business again. Bronson Farside will be leading off their pitching, uh, and they're facing Peninsula Transport, with the glove and the throwing arm of Unlucky Jackson. Uh, the Peninsula Transport get things started early on, and it looks like they've held that 6-2. to two. The Nomads are taking on the Colonel Space Agency. Uh, Ursula Fandango pitching for the Nomads. And uh, it's it started out quietly, but the Nomads held on and got the win there. The 0-2 of City Axemen are taking on last year's runners-up, the Beekeepers, who are 2-0 and this season, and... Are they are they in place for uh, a repeat of last? Well, at the moment it doesn't look like it. Uh, going down by six, seven, eight runs early on. Uh, that one ended up ten to uh, another score that was lower than ten in favour of the Axemen. The Urgmel and Flex Sky Chroniclers up against uh, the O and Two Steganauts next. Betsy Wilberforce pitching for the Steganauts and uh, Jerry Golds. Pitching for a melon flex. Uh, the Steganauts there, snatching their first win of the year. They'll be thrilled. They'll be so pleased. Uh, now we're looking at the Red Star Pathfinders against Sunshine Fun Bus. The Fun Bus putting up early runs there, and it's enough to keep them in the win and their record perfect as well. The Port Megan's Pirates now in our last game is, uh, is going to be playing Colonel School. Uh, Jeff with Boats is pitching for Colonel School. Again, not a great pitcher. Uh, but uh, the Port Megan's Pirates with Todd Baubles, he's not exactly a brilliant pitcher either. And uh, there we go, the Pirates off early. Once again, doesn't look anything... Yeah, no, I, I was going to say it didn't look like there was going to be any... There wasn't. So here's the table as it stands right now. We will have a period where the number of games played by each team are uh, off a bit. Uh, Bulldoze Power on one-on-one, -on -one, Trail by a game and a half behind the Lingo Blend All-Stars who've got a perfect start to the season. The Nomads and Port Miggins Pirates, the other two teams who are still unblemished in the Fail Brigade Conference. Uh, as we cast our eye over Bad Company, it is Sunshine Fun Bus and the Picks Creek Miners leading the way. Uh, but it is still very early in the season. I invite you to join in next, next time around and we'll have a look at some of the high-scoring players in the league after the next game. Uh, which is, oh, come on, back up when I want you to. Thank you. <clears throat> which is uh, the Bulldozer Power taking on the 2-0 and Stardozer Human Resources team. It's going to be a good one. I hope to see you there. Cheerio.